The growing panic on Main Street in America, which is directly related to Wall Street. Let's begin by taking a look at what happened to the Dow Jones Industrial Average yesterday. It has now fallen below 7,500 points, a six-year low, off nearly 50% from its high. 16 months ago, the number of Americans receiving unemployment benefits jumped to 5 million this month, and the unemployment rate currently at 7.6% is expected to go even higher, much higher. And this one, 700,000 jobs could disappear this month alone. 700,000 jobs in one month. Nearly 600,000 were lost in January. Those numbers, without question, are unnerving for people looking for work and even for those who have a job. CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers is in Chicago. We begin with that this morning. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Maggie. You all may remember when Republic Windows had to close its doors last December and those 300 workers staged to sit in until they got their severance pay. Well, since then, countless other Americans have lost their jobs, and even those who haven't don't feel secure. You'd expect these kinds of lines for a rock concert. Do you know what uh, positions you're looking for? But no cold play here, just cold reality. These are lines at recent job fairs. Thousands of people desperate for work in a job market that has shed nearly 3.6 million jobs in the past 14 months, and it's only getting worse. We'll probably lose another 3 million, possibly as much as 4 million jobs before this is over. And that's making even people who still have jobs nervous. According to a new AP poll, 47% of Americans worry about losing their jobs. In San Francisco. I need a job. You know, I need a, to support my family. In Brookfield, Illinois. I need anything I can get right now. And in Irvine, California. Very worried for myself and for my family. For Oleg Tchaikovsky, who was laid off from his six-figure technology job three months ago, that means staying up nights, wondering how he'll be able to take care of his wife and four kids. There has to be a way that I can provide for my family, and I can't right now. So I have a, a complete fear of, where do I turn? What do I do? Julie Black knows the feeling. Sales at her flower shop are down 40 percent. We're probably going to have to cut staff. Um, that's the one thing that I hope and pray I don't have to do. And after a lackluster Valentine's Day, she worries how much longer she can hang on. The reality of it is this business pays for my house. Um, it feeds my children. If I don't have this business, my house is gone. My kids don't eat. As if that's not depressing enough, keep in mind that economists we've talked with say they don't expect the employment situation to get better until the economy itself is bottomed out, and that may not be until the end of 2009. Maggie? Yep, it's all connected. CBS's Cynthia Bowers. Thank you, Cindy.